talk to me a little bit about the data issue, the size of, of these files, right? I face that all the time, you know, uploading something into YouTube is easy, but if I want to use it on the same video on multiple platforms, I'm either, you know, I either can't do it. I have to go into a compression app, um, which I don't even like know what that means. I just like found it and Googled it and did it myself. Um, so obviously that has to be part of this, of, of the narrative, right? Part of the consideration. So can you talk a little bit about how the size of, of the, of data and the data issue and, and how you overcome that? Um, in the video space, sure. So we're, you know, we're still at, we're still working on it as an industry. So size mm -hmm. is still the, the 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 biggest. I think it's still uh, possibly the biggest issue. Um, size can be um, it, there's a huge there's so many issues with size. Even sustainability, right? The less data that you move, um, uh, the more sustainable it is as 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 a uh, as an industry, uh, video streaming. So what we want to do is we want to get the amount of data that we're streaming, pushing one way or another way um, down and keep the quality high. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to compress things, but keep, so so it's, we, we, we actually have, have, have less less bytes, right? Um, and, and, and more quality. Can you do that? Well, yeah, actually you can do that. Um, and it's, and, and we're incrementally making it better uh, every year. I, I haven't seen a, anything that's that's non incremental uh, recently uh, in, in, in in many years and um, and so we need to start thinking differently about how, how we do that but that's that's one thing um, the the in, in terms of size so you know when when we're talking about sensors for example moving uh, shifting video we're talking literally kilobytes right like little tiny bits of data um, when we're talking about uh, shooting for for film, we're talking about terabytes of data. So we get into these these, these two very large um, discrepancies, uh, and then you've got your actual volume of data as well. So we don't just work in in business and in and in media entertainment. We also work uh, for the police, for example. And although they're using uh, you know CCTV, which could be small amounts of uh, of data comparably to say. Um, uh, you know, a very rich, high quality format that one of the broadcasters would be using. Um, they just have massive volumes of it. I mean, just ridiculous amounts of content, petabytes and petabytes of content um, being managed by people who have no history of, of video production. So you can imagine a lot of it's just been done on uh, you know, analog, on premise. I mean, just think about how many times you've heard about police losing their, their laptops, losing their uh, uh, memory sticks. Most of this content traditionally has been um, sent around by courier. And that courier could be uh, you know, a, a policeman or woman in a car, or it could actually be a courier sending it by post. And this stuff goes missing all the time. So there's, there's huge security issues around it as well. So large amounts of data, yes, we need to, we need to, we need to do something to manage that, that, that amount of data content. Some things that have made it made things help that have really helped the industry, like for example, uh, broadband actually has got better. So um, um, being able to push content to the cloud has got better. Um, from our point of view, managing content for a large enterprise, for example, that are that are shooting in 4K or 8K, those are bit, those are going to be big files. Um, there, it does take a while to uh, get that content in the cloud, but. There are new techniques, like we, we chunk the file. I mean, what that basically means is we're sending it in, in, in small packets as, a, as opposed to a, a complete stream. Uh, we can, um, we have accelerators. We've got all these things that we can do to make it go into the cloud faster. But ultimately, the fact that the, the broadband or the 5G is better means that we can get the content there uh, that much faster. Um, that said, there are lots of other ways of getting content you know, once it's in the cloud, and let's think about that. You know, if content's already in the cloud, why are businesses and editors and lots of people actually downloading the content, working on the content, and then putting it back up? That's crazy. So we've got to put the tools in the cloud yeah. and allow the applications to go to the content rather than bring the content down and pushing it into the applications. So that's all part of the you know, the workflows and trying to figure out, okay, well, where, you know, 
like how, what's the best way to manage this content? For me, it's put it in one place and then everything goes there to that one place to help manage the content. And, and that does help to speed things up.